Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. It is May 12th, 2023. You may hear the cows, the birds behind us this morning. They are, uh, they sound like they're moaning a little bit. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Our devotional today is called Our Joint Inheritance. Woo! Do you know the men and women that walked before us for Christ? They left us an inheritance. Yes, they did. That is so beautiful. It is. Ephesians 3, 8. This grace was given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ. And you're in Galatians 3, mm -hmm. uh, verses 7 through 29. All right. Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. In the scripture... For seeing that God would justify the heathen the, through faith, preached before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Mm. Mm. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things, which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just that for the just shall live by faith. And the law is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Mm. Brethren, I speak after the manner of men, though it be but a man's covenant. If it be confirmed, no man disannulleth or addeth thereto. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not, and to seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. And this I say, that the covenant that was confirmed before of God in Christ, the law, which was 430 years after, canst disannul, that it should make the promise of none effect. For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. Wherefore, then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, mm -hmm. till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given, which could have been given life, Verily righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that, faith has come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized in Christ, into Christ have put on Christ. There is, e there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ... Then are ye, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. I was just thinking while I was reading this, if you're not in a Bible study, get into a Bible study. Start a Bible study. Start one. Yeah. Uh, hearing preaching is really good, but um, chewing on the Word, going through the Scriptures, yourself and being involved in understanding it is very good for you.
Yeah, and it's cool to hear from other people's experiences and the revelations they've had from diving into the Word, too. Yeah. I find that's enriching for me. It's just to hear how God has touched other people's lives. Absolutely. Okay. The fullness of the expression of the Holy Spirit today is giving us a glimpse into what has been provided by the Father. We know that in old Israel, from Abraham right down, God had a special relationship with his chosen people. But the Gentiles had no right to it. The master said to the Syrophoenician woman, Shall I take the bread of the children and give it to the dogs? See Mark 7.27. Did Jesus mean that the Gentiles were dogs? No, he meant that the whole race of the Gentiles knew that they were far below the standard and the order of those, who, of those people who belonged to the royal stock of Israel. The Samaritans all felt it. But wasn't it possible for the dogs to have some crumbs, was the woman's question. See verse 28. God had something better than crumbs. He had made the Gentiles of the same body. That's what we have to remember sometimes, especially when we get into healthy debates about the word. <laughs> we are all of the same body, the same heirs as his chosen people. He has put no difference between them and us, but he has included us in the promises for all who are forgiven by the blood of Christ. Paul spoke about it, knowing that if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Galatians 3.29 Thank God, God so manifests his power that he has brought us into oneness, that we know we are sharing in the glory. We are sharing in the knowledge that we belong to the aristocracy of the church of God. It is wonderful to know that I am in the body. It is wonderful to know that the Gospels and prophets and all those who have passed down the years, holding aloft the torch, going on from victory to victory, all will be in the body. But how wonderful if we may be in the body so that we might be chosen out of the body to be the bride. Mm. It will be according as you are yielded to the effective working of his power. Ephesians 3, 7. Thought for today, God has met the needs of all nations, of all ranks, of all conditions. Mm. So going back real quick to that Bible study, <laughs> could you imagine being able to actually study the Bible with Smith, to sit down and study the Bible with him? <laughs> How special that would have been? There are people around you that you can study the Bible with that are like Smith. Find you a Smith. <laughs> Or become the smith. Or become the smith, absolutely. Yeah, we are all called. We are all called. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow.